Someone please take my camera away from me right now. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another review and this review I don't think I've been excited for anything more in the past few months because this product has blown up on TikTok and I finally got it because it's been sold out for so long. But today we are reviewing the Dr. Jart Sycopare Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. I am so excited. I've heard great things about this, but I've also heard like, I've heard mixed things, I should say, mixed things. So here it is. I got the smaller one. It comes in two different sizes. I got the smaller one because like, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. This is just for the review. Hopefully it'll be added to my routine, but who knows? So this is the size that is 0.5 ounces and this retails for $18. If you get the bigger size, it comes in 1.7 ounces and it is $52. So it's a big difference. This is kind of small for $18, but they say a little bit goes a long way. So maybe you can get away with just repurchasing the small size and not spending $52. On a cream that we don't know if it's even gonna work so let's get started let's read a little bit about the product I'm getting all my information from sephora.com so it is a green to beige color correcting treatment that corrects redness and protects skin from UV damage and environmental aggressors it's for normal drying combination and oily skin types so it's good for everybody it's a cream formulation, it has SPF 30. What else you need to know? This is an all-in-one treatment, it includes a color changing capsule to cover blemishes and neutralize redness, restoring fatigue skin for a vibrant appearance. The formula features tiger grass to help heal sensitive skin with inflammation, irritation, or discomfort. That's a lot of claims for a moisturizer with SPF. That's a lot of claims, so let's see what happens. I'm gonna try it for the first time on my face today. We're gonna to start with one half and just see how it compares to the other half. My face isn't as red today. I feel like I've seen it more red. I do get some redness here. I have blemish here. Get some dry skin on the lower side. Again, more blemishes. Let's just see how this works. It smells, it has a smell for sure. So if you don't like skincare with smells, it's not that bad. It's definitely manageable. But also looking at the jar, I don't know if you can see this, but like all that's empty. It's all leaning to one side. So if it were all flat, it would be very low. So it's kind of empty. So I really don't like that. So yeah, if you can see, it is definitely green. Let's take a little bit. My finger can't even get in there because of my nails. Oh, I don't know if that's too much. And what they say to do is don't take it and dot it all over your face. You have to warm it up in your hands first. So you warm it up and then it turns beige. Yeah, kind of beige. So I'm gonna start with this side. I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers because it says it's like just a moisturizer with color corrector. So I'm assuming it's okay to apply with your fingers. I just washed my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna take some more because when I warmed it up in between my hands, it kind of like disappeared. I'm gonna try and focus it up here where I have the redness and then blend it out in the blemish over here. And I'm trying to keep it on one half of my face so you can see if there is a difference. I get red on my eyelids a little bit. I think TikTok is so funny because one day I literally wake up and I'm on a completely different side of TikTok. Like one day I woke up and I was on Draco TikTok. It wasn't gradual at all, I was just there. One day I woke up and this product was all over my TikTok. It was crazy. So it's definitely kind of thick and I still smell that smell. It's not bad, laundry strap. It's not a bad smell, I just don't know how to describe it. It's like not great. <laughs> It's very skincare-y, I guess. I guess a lot of the skincare I use doesn't have a scent, so I'm not really used to it. But I guess I would just describe this as like skincare. So I still have some in my hand, but I'm gonna wait for the other side because I think that's enough. Um, maybe I should get a mirror. Okay, it definitely looks better in person than on the camera. On the camera, it kind of looks like I'm washed out. But in person, it looks like my skin just without the redness. 
that's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna apply it to the other half and just see how my entire face looks. I also just got my eyebrows done and that sometimes will make me red. So let's see if it like helps with that cover up too. Pat, pat, pat. Let's take a look. Now it's over the entire face. I definitely look washed out on camera. Hmm. And it's making, because I'm like all washed out, it's making my chest look really red. But in person, it doesn't look that light at all because I've been seeing on other people when they tried, I guess on camera with lighting and everything, it washed them out too. But maybe in person it looked better because I personally think in my mirror, it looks like my skin, which is crazy. I do like this. If you ever wanted to like go out with a no makeup makeup look, I mean, this isn't makeup, this is skincare. But if there was a day that you just wanted to even your skin tone without putting on a bunch of makeup, I would definitely recommend this. I don't know how it's gonna last throughout the day. Right now, I wanna say it's like four o'clock. See, I'm still getting some redness over here because per just personally, I'm very red, like right up here. And like, you still see a little bit of the blemishes, but it definitely did cancel out some of the redness because that's what green does. If you don't know, like for color correcting, green cancels out red, like peach cancels out purple, stuff like that. It's like basically the color wheel. <laughs> So it did help a little bit with the blemishes. Like I would definitely do this, like pop on some mascara and like run some errands. I would definitely do that. Let me finish it off. I'm gonna pretend like I'm using this as foundation because that's what some people said that they were gonna do. They were gonna replace their foundation with this product that's supposed to be better for your skin and has the SPF so it's good for everything. So I'll be right back and I'm gonna finish my makeup and let's see like a completed look. Okay, and this is the finished look. I, okay, I'm a little shook right now because I didn't put any additional foundation on. I did, like I obviously finished my makeup. I put a little bit of concealer just under my eyes. I did powder, bronzer, blush, highlight. Every, everything is on my face right now. And I don't hate it. I'm really surprised. The product alone was like, okay, if you wanted to like, even out your skin tone and then throw on some mascara and call it a day like that would be fine but right now i'm like really shocked i <laughs> okay this product is definitely definitely approved this is amazing like my i think my skin looks great and i swear i have no additional foundation on the cream product um the concealer that i applied on top blended fine all of my powders that i put on top blended just fine i can't stop looking at myself i wasn't sure at first but now i'm like oh my god okay so i think i'm gonna check in a little later and see how everything wore see how my skin looks at the end of the day so like i said it's a little it's 4 30 right now so i'm gonna check in like a few hours later and just see how everything wore but right now i'm really liking it i'm really excited I also tried something new that I did want to talk about. I've been wanting to try the Kylie Velvet Lip Formula forever because I, it's so hard to find liquid lips that I actually like because they all feel sticky. But when she has like a velvet formula as opposed to the matte, I'm like, oh, maybe the velvet feels better. And this is in the shade Charm. And I don't normally wear like a color this pink and I think I really like it. I bought the mini just in case like, I wasn't gonna like it. I always do that, just buy the mini just in case. I love the color, it feels great. But overall, oh my God, I can't stop looking at myself. Wow. Okay, this is great. And let's see how it is in a few hours. It's been a while since I applied everything and my skin looks like skin, which I think was the point of the product. It's obviously not a full coverage foundation, so it's not gonna give you that if that's what you're looking for. It's not like a, easy fix it's not but for what the product is i really like how my skin looks i could have covered this a little more with concealer i just didn't i only put concealer under my eyes kind of forgot to cover that but overall my skin looks like skin and i would definitely go out like this it looks really nice there's a little is there any creasing um no there's not even that much creasing 
Like obviously I set my face with powder and everything. I think the big thing to remember is that this is not a foundation and it'll just enhance your skin's natural look. So if that's what you're looking for, this is great. I love this product. My face looks amazing. And yeah, I approve this. Looks nice. I had this thought that I didn't mention in the video earlier, but I was thinking this product is probably only good for people with fair to light, maybe tan skin. So that's pretty unfortunate. If you have a deeper or darker skin tone, I don't know how this would work for you. They should make shades. It's kind of like makeup, even though it's marketed as skincare, it has function of makeup. So they should probably expand their shade range because this is a good product. My skin, like hours later, now that I'm editing, my skin still looks good. So I kind of want everyone to be able to experience that. But right now I, I've never seen um, someone with darker skin test it, but like after dealing with it personally, I don't know if it would work for them. So that's really sad because it's a nice product. So Dr. Jart, make more shades. Okay. That was my final thought, and I'm sorry I didn't mention it earlier. Okay, so I think it's pretty safe to say that the Dr. Jart Sycopare Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment is approved. The, I'm shook by this. I hope I like it later. I guess we'll see, but right now I'm in love with it. I'm so excited to wear this again because if you ever want just like a light makeup look, I, I'm shook. I, I have no other words. This is incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.